Hello and welcome to Alistair Aquatics guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, apologies for no video last week, uh, my family were really ill and my girlfriend was really ill and I ended up just spending time chilling out with them. Um, but to make up for it, this week I have two videos on their way. So without further ado, let's go on to the topic of today's video and that is of course an update on this guy right here. Okay, so this is my 10, 11 litre tank. Uh, it's a fluval spec and in a previous video, you saw me set this up, you saw me aquascape this tank and I now have it stocked. Um, he's hiding at the moment. But as those of you guessed in the comment section, I went for a beta fish. Uh, I went for just a plain red beta fish. Uh, as he, in the shop, I was really drawn to him. He was coming to the front of the tank, flaring up, and I just thought he looked beautiful. And he was a really good bargain. He cost five pounds, which I, uh, not five pounds, four pounds, which I think is a phenomenal price for a beta fish. And he looks really nice in the tank. Here he is, he's just come to the front to say hello, and he's just come to hide again. Uh, so his name is Red, uh, not very imaginative, not a very imaginative name, but uh, there we go, I think it suits him. Uh, really grumpy guy, much different in uh, sort of personality compared to um, Walter or Alpha. Walter and Alpha are both very uh, calm baiters. Uh, I've never seen Alpha flare up at all. Whereas Red on the other hand, he flares up uh, quite a few times a day, uh, which is quite funny to watch. But again, I don't want him to be stressing himself out too much, but he seems okay. And I tried some red cherry shrimp out in this tank and they've been doing great. Uh, they've been getting along fine and Red's not going after them at all. And as well, to help deal with the algae, I have two Armani shrimp in this tank as well. So what we're gonna do now is take a further, closer look at the tank and hopefully you guys enjoy. And if you are enjoying my videos in general, please don't remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more videos every week. And I am on Instagram at Alistair underscore aquatics. And another note I just wanted to quickly make was that my email address, okay, alistairaquatics at gmail.com, uh, hadn't been working uh, for the first sort of few months I set my channel up. But just to let you know, it is all up and running now and uh, I've even tested the email address out to make sure it's working. So if you have any queries, product review opportunities, sponsorship opportunities, please let me know. Uh, but what we're gonna do now is take a closer look at my tank. Just a quick note, guys, uh, I am having a lot of building work uh, going on at the house at the moment, which is why I'm not in my usual spot with my usual backdrop with the goldfish. Um, so if you do hear any drilling or any other sort of building work, I do apologize, uh, but hopefully um, It won't distract from the video too much Okay, so without further ado Here's my fluval spec tank Okay, so it's been about three weeks since I set up this tank originally and As you can see We have a new addition uh, so after Walter died, sadly, I, uh, you know, felt quite bad. I'd lost a bait of fish and uh, I went to a local shop that sold fish. And, you know, they had various types of baiters, placats, koi baiters, you know, varying from about 15 pounds to 25 pounds. And this guy was really active. He was coming to the front to say hello. And he's just a uh, normal beta and he was priced at just four pounds so I thought I had to take him home with me and he's been a great addition so I got him um, a couple of weeks ago and he's doing really well he has been making bubble nests up the top uh, like alpha does my other beta fish uh, I've just done a water change so I may have destroyed that nest but um, I'm sure he'll make another one and in this tank, I also have some cherry shrimp. There's one just there. So yeah, the tank's going well. Um, again, I lucked out. Um, he was in a tank by himself in the shop, uh, this new beta fish, and I decided to try him out with some cherry shrimp, and they've been fine. I put about 10 in there, and they all seem to be doing good. 
I also have, uh, I think, about two Amano shrimp in here as well. Here he is. Uh, for those of you wondering, his name is Red, which is <laughs> not very inventive, but uh, I think a very fitting name. And one thing I've noticed, compared to Alpha and Walter, he is really quite aggressive, um, constantly flaring up at me whenever I walk past, but it gives him a lot of character. So the Monte Carlo has carpeted out really well and looks nice. Uh, the crypts towards the front have grown quite large, a bit larger than I was expecting, but uh, yep, they're looking good. And we have some purling going on since I've just done this water change. Uh, the Java moss in the middle is growing out nicely. Java ferns doing well, creating lots of sort of baby plants along its leaves. And I've forgotten the name of this plant, but it seems to be growing quite a lot. But some of the leaves are developing holes in them. Um, and I am staying on top of quite a strict fertilizing regime, so I'm not 100% sure what's going on there. Uh, it might be the fact that the CO2 is not high enough in this tank. And we have some Sagittaria uh, in this right hand corner, and it started to do really well, sent out some runners, which I might need to remove. It's meant to be a background plant, not a foreground plant. But it's doing a good job and eventually hopefully it will hide this small CO2 unit I've got in the back. And I do have a tiny bit of, I think it's hydrocotyl, uh, the small plant there that looks like sort of four leaf clovers. And I do have a small amount of dwarf hair grass dotted about, which isn't really doing too well. But uh, I thought I'd try it out in this tank. But I'm really happy with how this tank looks. Um, everything seems happy and healthy. And... Yeah, I'm really happy with my new beta. It seems a great addition. And for four pounds, I mean, it just goes to show that, you know, although there are more expensive options out there for fish, plants, tanks, you can always uh, look around and maybe get a cheaper deal. My other beta fish, Alpha, cost 24 pounds. So it just goes to show that for a fraction of the price, you can still get a really nice uh, Siamese fighting fish uh, without breaking the bank. So um, yeah. I'm really liking this tank, the uh, spiderwoods darkened up uh, from the original video when I set this tank up and it's just sat nicely next to my bonsai forest. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this tank, uh, really low maintenance, I've probably done about two water changes on this tank of about 50% in the last three weeks since it's been set up. Um, I was a bit worried that the strength of the LED light on this uh, flugel spec wouldn't be enough to grow these plants, but it's been absolutely fine. And I've added a small amount of CO2, but I haven't done it uh, very religiously. The CO2 canister actually ran out after a couple of days. So it's gone quite a few weeks without any CO2 at all, and I've just got it hooked back up again. And as you can see, this guy loves to come to the front and greet you. And for anyone wondering uh, what I feed my beta fish, uh, I just feed them normal tropical flakes. Uh, I know there are quite a few uh, sort of beta specific flakes out there and I'm sure they're all good. Uh, I per personally just found that the sort of beta Siamese fighting flakes were really tiny flakes. And uh, with these normal tropical flakes, they're quite a lot larger. And I just like to know that they're eating a bit more. And you know their colors are still great and they seem really healthy and as the occasional snack uh, blood worms are also uh, uh, welcomed by beta fish uh, they love those and yeah so I'm really happy how this tanks turned out I have had to remove some of the floating plants because they grew absolutely huge um, but yeah it's still a work in progress I'd say another month or two before this starts to really look its best um, I need that moss in the middle to grow in a bit more oh, here's red um, and this plant on the left I'm either going to take it out or try and work out exactly what's going wrong with it um, if we have a look some of the leaves some of the leaves have developed holes in them it's quite hard to tell Right, there we go. So they're not looking 100% the healthiest leaves I've ever seen, but 
the, the plant itself is still letting out new shoots, new leaves. So I might wait and see how that does. Okay, as a thank you to those of you that have watched this video to the end, I'm just going to give you a quick update on my other planted beta tank. Uh, as you all know, this tank is home to my beta fish called Alpha. He's currently hiding right now. Uh, he might pop out soon, hopefully. But uh, the cherry shrimp colony has absolutely exploded in this tank. As has this crypt in the front, it's really grown quite big and take up a lot of space but I do really like crypts so no problems with that and the plants are just doing absolutely fantastically and I just dose Tropica fertilizer uh, probably about once a week and when I remember to I up the CO2 tank in the back there here comes Alpha we'll see if he comes out to say hello Yeah, here he is. So yeah, as I was saying, this guy was about five times the price, if not actually a bit more. Um, six times the price of red, which, um, I mean, in a way you can see why he'd be more expensive. His coloring uh, is really phenomenal. But um, it still goes to show that if you don't have as much money to spend, you can still have a really nice planted tank and a really nice beta fish. Okay guys, we come to the end of the video. I really do hope you've enjoyed this one. I've had a really great time talking about my fluval spec and how my beta fish red is doing. And I think the plants are growing in and looking absolutely phenomenal. Uh, really loving how the tank looks. Um, if you have any sort of hints or ideas or tricks on how I could maybe improve uh, the growth of my plants or anything like that please leave a comment uh, down below also i want to know your opinion i mean do you like this tank is there anything you would have done differently let me know in those comments down below as i really want to know okay so i hope you've enjoyed this one if you have enjoyed it please remember to hit that like button hit that subscribe button for more videos every week and it's bye for now guys